Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunday Night Crude here in Providence, Rhode Island. Not too far from where Peter Griffin and the rest of the Griffins live, naturally. And coming down now is Fritzy, and this is going to be a match that has been waited for since the end of Friday evening. It is going to be Sabu and Fritzy facing off in a submission match. <clears throat> and uh, this match is set up to give Sabu the opportunity to get a rematch for the World Championship title later tonight. And uh, Fritzy, well, Fritzy had some words about it, so let's go ahead and have a look at what he said. Listen up, Sabu. You got this match by pure luck in the Royal Rumble. I don't normally have a problem holding on to things that are long and rigid. But that time, I must have had something slippery on my hands. Something that came out of the other wrestlers. Sweat, count your blessings, Sabu. I have earned a title shot. You and your little crybaby coach are an embarrassment to the HWA. And in this submission match, I'm going to make you squeal like a pig, honey. Fritzy, not Sabu's biggest fan right now. I can tell you that for sure. But coming down right now is the other man. <laughs> there he is, folks, Sabu. This match means a hell of a lot to him. All he has to do is not submit and get Fritzy to submit, and he will get his rematch that has been long awaited thanks to his manager, Chaz Segner. And uh, they, Chaz Segner isn't coming down for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe we have some, some rule against that, or maybe the commissioner is not too happy about some things he's said recently, so uh, he's, he might just be up there. But we did see Sabu. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and watch the end of it. The Royal Rumble this Friday on Friday Fracas uh, shoved, shoved Fritzy off, and let's, let's have a look-see. And now, oh, he's, he's got Fritzy against the turnbuckle here. And you know, he's going to try to take him out. Sabu now working Fritzy if he can get him over the top rope. If he can get him. Oh, no, Fritzy's still down. But he's shoving. Fritzy holding on. Fritzy trying. Fritz, Fritz, Fritzy's on. Hit the ground. Sabu's the winner. I can't believe it. I don't know what else to say, folks. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a big one. This, is one this, this has more on the line than most matches ever really will. And... We're getting it started here. There's the bell. And submission rolls. Maybe that has to do something. Maybe, maybe they leave the managers up there. And if Fritzy makes Sabu come to him, finally he turns around and gives him a neck breaker. <laughs> maybe he should have stayed in his own quarter. And Fritzy picking Sabu up. Slow to get up. Taking his time, naturally. He's, he's got all night to make him suffer. And now, suplex block. Punches to the ribs. And Sabu. Oh! <laughs> Fritzy won't, Sabu won't make a move. Fritzy just grabs him and throws him by his head again. And now going with the elbows, one, two, and the third time's a charm. Taking it out on that uh, that masked head. If, if he gets busted open, you're going to see a little trickle. But uh, mostly, it's it's like a, a maxi pad in, in a way. I don't know why I said that. And he's off the ropes, and finally, a body slam by by Fritzy. And the back's already working, and now he's hit, hitting the shoulder. Oh, and punches to the side. That punch shot to the kidneys there. Oh, and now a big drop and drops that chin right on top of his head. And a kick to the leg. Fritzy in total control right now. Fritzy picks Sabu up. Sabu looks a little weary. Maybe he was out drinking last night. I'm not sure. But gets an arm lift and then throws a punch and Sabu blocks it. Now Sabu picking Fritzy up. And body slam by, by Sabu. Finally, it's time to wake up there, Sabu. And now Sabu going for a suplex. Oh, perfectly executed too. Right on the back, Fritzy. Now Fritzy down. He's going to set up the arm for the... Oh, the wrist break. Now he's picking Fritzy back up again. Fritzy. Fritzy not, not counter, not, not fighting back right now. And huge elbow drops him right, right to the mat. Now he's stepping on his hair. <laughs> and here comes the neck breaker by Sabu. Sabu is, uh, is open for business here, it seems. Just got to wear each other down until uh, you can get a submission move on there. Right now, just, just being, going back and forth. There's a neck breaker by Sabu. A little slow here, guys. <laughs> pick it up, pick it up. God damn it! Oh, he's going for a he's going for the hamstring stretch. I think it's a little early. I don't think Fritzy's going to give up quite this soon. And that finally blocks and rolls him over. And oh, big clothesline out of nowhere from Fritzy. And Sabu outside the ropes right now, trying to get back up. And Fritzy's not taking advantage. He's not going to try to knock him off the ropes. I guess he oh, <laughs> tight smoke too soon. And. A big bull charge knocks him off the ropes. And now we're going to go outside for slow motion wrestling. And a kick to the chest. 
Oh, it's getting the chest. He might have got some of his neck there. Oh, stomp to the to the wrist and the forearm there. Now, slowly dropping a knee to the back. And Sabu is suffering a little. And he say Fritzy indicates a cutthroat move. And now they're back up. And we're going back to the ring finally, so we can resume normal speed. You guys at uh, 2K Sports want to fix that, please? Elbow by Sabu. Now, whipping, whipping Sabu over the ropes again. Is he going to charge him again? He does, but, oh, Sabu kind of ducks out of the way and gives him a fist. Now, coming back in. <laughs> Just as Fritzy was, was raising the arm here, Sabu comes out with a kitchen sink clothesline. Oh, and now he's going for the camel clutch. And Fritzy, Fritzy slipping out. He's trying to work him. Nope, it's not going to do it this time. Fritzy will get out easily. And then drops Sabu on his face. Now, Fritzy. Fritzy really grappling there. Oh, and now he has him down in the arm bar. And, oh, he rolls it out. Rolls over. Rolls out. And <laughs> Some sort of floating fist bump there. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, big clothesline in the corner by Fritzy. And Sabu's down. Fritzy, now going to show off. I don't know if this is such a good plan. Usually doesn't work too well for some of these wrestlers. And now, Fritzy, oh, Fritzy threatened somebody in the front row. And again, the whole front row on the other side is is calling them some sort of uh, uh, sexual slurs there, I guess I could say it. Now, belly-to-belly -belly suplex by <laughs> Fritzy on Sabu, and Sabu getting picked up again. And Fritzy, whip him to the turnbuckle. Fritzy now, turning them around. Uh-oh. We've seen this before, folks. Sabu getting the cornhole. And boom, he goes down. Boom goes the dynamite. Only it's more of a firecracker for Fritzy, so I've heard. I've, I've heard. I've heard. Oh, and apparently Sabu might have gotten his foot up on the clo on the, uh, on the clothesline on the rope there. So the, break, the move had to be broken early. And now whipping him to, to the turnbuckle again. Fritzy coming in. Oh, grabs the foot. Sabu does. Oh, and right across the knee there. Fritzy doesn't fall, though. And, oh, he runs the referee over. Now, step the referee. And he, Sabu falls on the referee. Can we get a new referee, please? I think this one's how oh, no, he's getting back up. And <laughs> Sabu will get whipped at the turnbuckle again. <laughs> the referee looking around. He doesn't even know where he is right now. And a stomp to the gut, and it's down again. Oh, boy. Here we go, the forced blowjob. Oh, God, the ball's bouncing. Oh, yes, I can't take it anymore. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so he's on the camel clutch. Oh, he breaks free again. I think he had a hand on the rope there. Now stomp to the thighs. And Fritzy will get him back up again. Fritzy now. Oh, with a neck, neck rape. Neck rape. Neck rape. What is neck rape? I've never... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. And I, I got a, a sleeper hold on him. Will it knock him out? No, he's, 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 he's still got his hands up there. He's still... The move's on, though. He's, he's got him locked pretty well. I don't know if Sabu can last much longer in this. He's fighting for air, and finally he's trying to get to his feet. And for, Sabu... Oh, Sabu with elbows to the Fritzy now. To the Fritzy. <laughs> to the Fritzy. Everybody do the Fritzy. And now... Oh! Oh! The Empire Driver by Sabu on Fritzy, and Fritzy is down hard. And Sabu now. Sabu says that that's not enough. Let's let's get in a, a stance here and go for another one. And whips him to the ropes, and here comes the Liberty Bomb. Boom! Down he goes. And if any if any time would now be the time to try to get him into submission hold, maybe he goes for a, a leg bar, I guess you would call that. Fritzy trying to crawl to the ropes. He's pretty close. Just not giving up. And finally he gets rolled over and kicks Sabu away. Sabu now. Oh! She, oh, she, I thought Fritzy got a fist on him, but they, uh, Sabu brings up the elbow. And now kicking and stomping. Stomping Fritzy to the mat. Fritzy gonna get picked up again. This could go either way, folks. I don't know which way. Which way. Oh, and Fritzy just keeps himself from a, a face drag. And going for, going for a suplex, but Fritzy pops him in the ribs. And now he's jumping on top of him and just gonna start pounding away at him. Just mashing that face under the mask. Fritzy now taking his time. <clears throat> oh, goes for the the, uh, the hamstring stretch there. Pulling. Sabu hanging on. Crowd kind of cheering for Sabu. Oh, and finally pops for Fritzy. And another pop there. <clears throat> Gets up. 
And Fritzy, huh? Oh, these, these two are pretty much matched, matched evenly here, and now Sabo goes for an arm bar. Fritzy, Fritzy in pain, but I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen anybody give up in the arm bar like this before. Fritzy slap. Oh, Fritzy rolls Sabu over, almost rolls him out of the ring. Now, oh, the neck bashing, skull bash, break, neck breaker. I don't know. I just come up with the terms. And now, uh, Fritzy's signaling something here. Signaling the beginning of the end. Oh, and takes him right over the knee. Oh, and then oh, a whip to the brain bust, brain buster there. Now. Picking Sabu up again. Now, if he's, is, this could be a chance for him to go for it, but no, he's going to whip, whip Sabu to the turnbuckle again. Oh, and he figures what's good for the goose is good for the goose, and goes for the goose in the cornhole, and splat goes Sabu on the mat. Fritzy now. Sabu get, Sabu's got to be worn down pretty well, but now he's going for the hamstring stretch, a low percentage submission move. Sabu's pretty limber. Not ready to tap out. He just punches Fritzy in the ribs again. And finally breaks free. Crowd's starting to get really hyped up here. And now kick to the thigh. And Sabu will go for Hey, What's he going to do? Oh. Oh, just throws him right to the turnbuck, right in that back. Oh, that, that, that there may be a cushion there, but that is, that is hard steel underneath there. And now he goes for the camel clutch. Fritzy. Will he make Fritzy submit? Is this it? No, Fritzy slipping. If he can get Fritzy back up there, he can, he can win this. And now Fritzy's slipping out. Oh, it was so close, folks. And just drops Sabu on his face again. Now, Sabu. Sabu getting whipped to the turnbuckle again, turned around. Trying to avoid another <laughs> another uh, cornhole, but <laughs> his avoidance was not very helpful because here it is again, the cornhole. Ah, wow. And uh, uh, Sabu's down again. This is the third cornhole. How much more can he take, folks? If he goes for a submission move here, he might have him. <clears throat> gets him. Oh, he gets in the, the, the leg stretch here. <clears throat> Sabu holding on. Sabu trying to hold on. Will he do it? Nope. He, he, he punches himself free once again. <coughs> and a little Fleming tonight. I usually am. <clears throat> oh, now Sabu gets an arm bar here. Oh, he has a, good, has a good one on that time. And, but nope. Fritzy, Fritzy's two. And... But then, <laughs> go with the anti-gravity fist bump again. What the fuck is that? Please, somebody tell me. Now, oh, gets, gets Sabu in a headlock. Trying for the sleeper hold, but no, that's not going to do it. He just lays him down on the ground for, for what purpose? I don't know. Maybe he's going to teabag him. I, I've, I've seen stranger things in the HWA. Now, picking, picking Sabu up again. What's he got in mind for him? Sabu is obviously fatigued right now. And a suplex. Straight up good old-fashioned wrestling move there. Knocked the wind out of him. And now picking Sabu up again. And he's got Sabu in the leg lock. Oh, more elbows. One, two. And, of course, the third time's the charm. Sabu. Sabu beaten. He, he's, he's just really worn out right now. You can see he's not anxious to get back up with, by any stretch of the imagination. And Fritzy showing off, saying he's, he's in control of this match. He's not going to let Sabu get that, that rematch. And now oh, he goes for the camel clutch. This could be it. This could be it. He's, he's flying over. And he gives up. Sabu has given up. Oh, the dream is over, folks. Sabu taps out from Fritzy after a, a hard-fought battle. Let's have a look at it again. Oh, my, my, my. And there was the Empire Driver. An excellent move by Sabu. Thought that would, that would take its, its wear on tear. And now and then followed up by the Liberty Bomb. But, you know, Fritzy. Fritzy had three of these. The cornhole. I think he made it at four. I wasn't trying. I think I lost count. But he he got. I don't know what happened there. And there was another cornhole. And yeah, you get cornholed so many times by Fritzy, and you just you just want to give up. You just want to want it to be over. And there he is. A, a hail of booze comes down for Fritzy as he flaunts and does his his little queer dance there. Whatever that is, I don't even know. I don't I don't want to look at it anymore, folks. But regardless, Fritzy who originally had earned a spot, a, a chance to take on Nature for the championship, retains it after this submission match. And Sabu, unfortunately, goes down the toilet to the bottom of the rankings, and he'll have to work his way back up again. That's just the way it goes in the HWA. It's a, it's a very different style, but it is uh, it gives everybody a chance. It's very democratic. It's very... Uh, it's, yeah, it's that. <laughs> uh, so anyway, coming up next... We have, what do we have here? We have a triple threat table match. 
between Boston, Pedro X, and the Gimp. Should be a great one. Love table matches. So uh, stick around. This is the Anal Network reminding you, always wear a condom. We'll be, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Crude, ladies and gentlemen, from Atlanta, Georgia, the most, the least southern, southern town of, of everything and stuff and things. <laughs> coming out now is Boston. There's one of three members here coming out for this triple threat table match. First ever triple threat table match, by the way. Should be a great one. And we saw Boston two weeks ago in beatdown in a Hell in a Cell match against Bufu the Clown. He pulled the beaner on him. One of the, the finest it's pinpoint accurate move. And uh, let's go ahead and have a look at that. And an elbow now. Duke in it out with a kick. Oh no, number three on the beaner. Bow! And he, he busted the Bufu open. Bufu's bloody and pinned now. One, two, oh three. That's it, folks. Boston wins. Boston, the city's so good they named a wrestler after him. Or something like that. <laughs> Coming out next is the next opponent. It is going to be Pedro X, who we saw two weeks ago on Crude. You see that uh, that Inner Horseman title belt is missing from him. Uh, but he was uh, able to pull for the Inner Horseman title match, uh, as I said, two weeks ago on Crude against Fritzy. He had him in the silver stretch by, by Fritzy. Wait a second. Oh, of course, I fucked my notes up again. Well, I don't know what the hell we're going to be looking at right now, but let's go ahead and look at it anyway. Pedro X says, I'm done taking shit from you, Fritzy. Here he comes, the silver stretch. Once again, has the arms up, has the chin locked, and he's, he's trying to get out. He's crawling, he's trying to get, he's, he's trying to get to the ropes. Will he do it? Will he do it? He's still got him. And he, he taps out. He taps out. Pedro X has won. That's him, folks. Pedro X, 102 years young and still wrestling like he was a kid. Oh, by the way, I did want to mention that Pedro X is going to be up for an HWC title match coming, or H, uh, Horseman World Championship match. The Gimp's rubbing his ass again. Jesus Christ. He's a, he's a freak, ladies and gentlemen, but he knows how to party. Anyway, as I was saying, Pedro X up for the Horseman World Championship match coming up very soon, so we'll keep an eye out for that. But as for the Gimp, we saw him as well two weeks ago on Crude. Uh, in a handicapped tornado match against the captain, uh, he, who earned that match by mouthing off, and he was able to receive an ass whipping by the Gimp, and that ended that match. So let's have a look at that. The Gimp, and now, oh, the Gimp slaps away it, the captain. Oh, the captain is, is getting groggy. Here it comes once again, oh, with the ass spanking, an uh, ass whipping. I'll get that right one of these days, and Gimp goes for the pin. One, this could be it, folks. Two. Three, that's it. Funny Business has won this match, but holy shit. The Gimp, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest nipple twister in the HWA and probably in all of wrestling for that matter. There they are, the three, Boston, Pedro X, and uh, the Gimp, and we're going for it now. Oh, the Gimp out already. Gimp not wasting time, he's bringing a table right in. He, he believes in efficiency, folks. He's, a, he's an efficient... Uh, Ass wrangler, too, as far as I know. And so the Gimp, walking around with the table, either trying to find a space to set it up, or I don't know what he's doing, but well, meanwhile, uh, Boston, oh, Boston, taking a punch to Pedro X. And now the table is set up. He's going to go for a corner set. Oh, the Gimp going to, oh, <laughs> it could have been over that quick. All that girth going through the table. And now, slapping him. And Pedro X out. Pedro X, maybe going to, he's, he's going to bring in the other table. Okay. Well, two tables, twice as much fun. And Boston now. Oh, Boston crashing down on the Gimp. And Pedro X joining in the fun of stomping, stomping the Gimp. And now, oh, again, table. T table too strong for that. He, uh, Pedro X whisked him in the corner and now slapping away at, at Boston. The other table laying there, waiting to be used. Pimp, the, the pimp. The Gimp getting up slowly. Well, he might be a pimp too. No, that's Big Sid. So, a little, a little confusion here. Now Boston taking Pedro X across the, the shoulder. Oh, dropping him face down on the mat. And the Gimp comes over for a little action. Now getting whipped to the table and still hasn't gone through. I guess he's just not getting up enough speed. Either that or they're making tables tougher than they used to. And they used to be made out of like cardboard in the WWE, but these tables are apparently a little stronger and the Gimp rolls out while Pedro X gets whipped to the corner. Oh, drop kicks. Oh my God, I, that, that could have been the end of it right there. 
He, I don't think he got all of Pedro X, but Pedro X is now standing over Boston. Careful, he <laughs> just kicks the table out of the way. And now a taunting Boston. And the Gimp to some degree as he slowly gets up. Now, he tries, <laughs> the old man tries valiantly as he throws Boston to the corner to get a double axe handle off and he just didn't have the distance. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, now, Pedrex using the table as a weapon, beating on the Gimp. Oh, slamming him in the back. Oh, my God. He's slamming his backside. Gimp loves it, but uh, it's not helpful during the match. Pedrex now working the crowd. That is Boston. And the Gimp slowly get up. Very slowly. Oh, and a kick. He's a <laughs> Pedrex grabs the Gimp now, pulling him down to the mat, slamming the back of the head. Now, Pedrex to the corner. Oh, no, the table still isn't weak enough. And, oh, drop kick! That table's just not giving up. Now, Boston says, screw that table. I'm going to use this one. Sit this up on the other side. Or, what's he going to do? Oh, he's just going to use it as a weapon. And now, Gip was getting raped by the table. It's getting <laughs> hit every, every area of his body. Boston stomping on Pedro X's ankle. Oh, it tries the third stomp and miss and can't do it. Pedro X is out. Now, getting whipped to the table again. That table does not want to give up, folks. Now, a slap to the to the Pedro X and Pedro X is down now. Boston now. Oh, Boston with a leg drop across Pedro X. Pedro X up now. Slowly getting up. Boston's helping him out now. The Gimp comes back in. And got a suplex. Oh, nicely executed there by Boston. And <laughs> the Gimp is dancing. <laughs> Gimp gets whipped to the table. Still up. Still, the table's still in order. Now a slap. I don't think that's going to cut it through the table. And Gimp falls away. And now, <laughs> uh, Boston now takes, takes the table and rams it right into, into Pedrex's head. Pedrex rolls out. He needs a little break here. Now the Gimp fighting back. And Gimp takes Boston across the shoulders. Oh, face slam uh, suplex there. Right down. And Boston rolled around. And baby, 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 come on, Gimp, do something. What the fuck? Gimp gets whipped to the corner. And is this a wrestling or a dance show? So you think you can Gimp? I mean, so you think? Never mind. And now Gimp getting railed to the. Oh, Pedro set the table up. I just noticed. Now we're gonna see some action here. Somebody can get a a suplex or. A, a power bomb uh, right, right right through the table, and oh, Pedro X with a kick, and now oh, DDT on Boston. Gimp working his way up slowly. Pedro X picking Boston up, and now Boston reverses with a shoulder charge. Now Pedro, now the Boston and the Gimp are going to be going at it. Gimp still getting beat up. Gimp's not having a great time here tonight, and he's, he's got him, but Pedro X is kind of in the way, so he just whips him to the, to the rope there, and they bounce off of each other. Nothing happens. Pedro X is, is eyeing up everybody. Oh, now he's going to go play to the crowd again while the Gimp pops Boston with a, some sort of move. Oh, and a flying fist out of nowhere from Pedro X. Now, slamming the elbow on the Gimp. The Gimp goes, he just sets the Gimp on that table. He's going to crawl or crash right through it. He got to weigh like 800 pounds. 800 pounds of pure man love, baby. And Pedro X now. Uh-oh, Pedro X in a powerbomb position. If he can get this, he's got him up. It's going through it. Oh, it goes through the table. The thing just explodes. And Pedro X is the winner. Yes. Crowd loves them, folks. They do. And now we're going to see how it all happened here. As you can see, this table took a lot of punishment. People getting thrown into it. And there's one chop by Pedro X on Boston. Boston rolling away. And then we had Boston with, a, with a, another thundering chop to the Gimp. Gimp didn't go through, though. Rolls away. Pedro X putting the other table to use, and, and then they you know, finally had Boston up against it, the Gimp slapping. Hey, you're just not going to slap somebody through a table. It's, it, it doesn't happen. Pedro X, at that point, brought the other table in, and then more slaps that were ineffective. I don't know what it was, all the slap replay. Maybe they were trying to, like, a bass soundtrack for the, for the Gimp's dance moves. And here's a reverse angle with a slap you can't even see. Great, okay. You want to show us more use useless shit? No, they're not. They're just going to show the end of it. Of course. Whatever. Anyway, Pedro X is the winner here. He gets to celebrate for winning his table match. And uh, he's hoping for another big win as he comes up in line for the Horseman World Championship. That'll be up uh, very soon, folks. Keep an eye out for it. But right now, we're going to cut away. Coming up next, we have 
the uh, television title championship match between the Godfather. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's it's the Goldfather now. That's right, he, he changed his name uh, to celebrate his goldiness. And uh, he's going to be going up against the captain, who uh, is none too happy with keys at this point. But uh, let's, uh, let's cut away. This is Anal Network reminding you, always wear a condom. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sunday Night Crude here from Glendale, Arizona. A new town, a new stadium. Uh, they love us all over, but uh, our newest one is Glendale. Thanks for having us, folks. Thanks for building our stadium. As uh, we, All we had to do was ask, and they said, HWA, oh, fuck. They got it up in like three weeks. <laughs> that's, that's much quicker than, or much longer than it takes Fritzy to get it up. Coming out now for this television title championship match is the captain, who's recently speeded up his entrance uh, in light of some, some arguing with the commissioner, but <clears throat> not so much a, as a heated amount of, of adversary as he has had with Keys, uh, as we're going to see right now, the <laughs> Keys uh, lashed back at the captain after his tirade, and uh, it's a, uh, if you got young children in the room, make sure you send them off uh, to, to, to go get a pizza or something, just get them out of the room, because this is a little rough, folks, let's have a look. Listen to me, you pinko rusky pig fuck. I had to cut your balls off and shove them up your fucking ass. You would be standing in a two-hour line for toilet paper if it wasn't for me, you ungrateful pile of shit. You think I need you? Who do you think urged the commissioner to set up that handicap match? I set that up, you egotistical fuck. As of immediately, you are fired, you cummy cocksucker. Oh, and by the way, I'm fucking your wife. There you have keys, folks. Not real happy with the captain, I think you can say. And, uh, well, it, it, it makes captain a free agent at this point. We'll have to see what where he goes from here. He's, he's perfectly capable wrestler without management, I'm sure. But uh, coming out now is going to be the goal. The, the god, no, the gold father. That's right. There he is. Oh, my God. That is just gaudy. They should call him the godfather. Like, gate G-A-W-T. Because that is a mess. That is, there's chains and... And gold belts and gold jackets and the god awful shiny lame <laughs> jockey strap or shorts or things. Oh my god, it's just a, it's it's a disaster, folks. It really is. But uh, you don't need fashion sense when you're wrestling with the Inner Horseman Television Title Belt. And we did see the Godfather two weeks ago on Beatdown win that television title from Big Sid with his move, the Greek on a leash. Let's have a look. Now, oh, huge fist by Godfather. And now the Greek on a leash again, slammed, and now we see Al, and he's not happy. It's, it's his own wrestler. I, don't, I can't, I, I don't know what Al's thinking here, that he would jeopardize a, a business partnership like this. There he goes to the pin. One, two, three. Godfather wins, and Al is, can't be happy about this. So the Goldfather now. And his new management, uh, we do want to announce this, is uh, Joe Petito, uh, uh, an ex-HWA manager from a long time ago. He's, in fact, back. And, uh, is he, yes, he is ringside. You see him there. So, it's uh, the first time we've seen him as a manager. I, I think it's the first time. might be the second time. But there's the captain getting ready for this television title match. Kind of getting in a, in a trance and a stare, a stare there. And shaking it out, getting ready, is the Godfather. And here we go. Both kind of stand up, staring off. A lot of respect between these wrestlers. There's not a lot of adversary. There was back in the day uh, when he was with Keys, and you remember, of course, the dreaded retirement match that didn't get played out on the Godfather then, now Goldfather. And uh, so uh, these two, uh, I, I don't know. I, I expect uh, we're just going to see a good match here. So here we go, getting getting Captain up, and oh, a suplex on the Captain and dragging his legs down the rope too. Now Captain, a little slow to get up there. Goldfather with a stomp on the elbow with the, with the wrist combination. Now, Captain back up. Godfather looking to whip him. Whips him to the, to the ropes. And back. Oh! Charging elbow there by Goldfather. <laughs> it's going to take some getting used to saying that, folks. Now, Goldfather up on the ropes taunting. Of course, the taunt. Got to pay the HWA for that. That is the HWA taunt. And now, double axe handle down on Captain. Captain not putting up much of a fight so far. I don't, know, I don't know if he's actually torn up about that whole getting fired thing or, or what the deal is, but now Captain getting kicked. And, oh, catches the leg, though. Goldfather now. Oh, a spinning leg drag there by the Captain. 
definitely is, has his heart in this match, at least a little bit. And now, he, uh, the Godfather now taking taking him to the woodshed. Nope, taking him to the ropes. And slingshot on the captain. Goes flying. Captain now. Oh, captain's back hurting. Having some problems. Maybe his back hurts from her carrying around that enormous ego. And the Godfather not doing... <laughs> I said it again. The Godfather not going, jumping right in after him. I'm looking for a well-balanced match here, actually. And they bump into each other. Nothing happening. A little bit of a stare down there continues. And, oh, now, oh, big arm drag by the captain dragging Goldfather's legs down the ropes. And a stomp to Goldfather. Now, Goldfather up again. Captain, picking him up, ready for another grapple. And he, maybe he wants him to blow him. He's just kind of like, from that angle, it looks like he was blowing him for that matter. Oh, another, oh, God. And the legs against the ropes and the turnbuckle there on the Goldfather. And Captain, going out. <clears throat> Is he? Oh, is he going to get some extra curriculums? He cuts the sledgehammer now. Okay, well, so much for the traditional wrestling. Misses the first time. Oh, jams the sledgehammer into Goldfather's ribs. And now another slam on the, on the head. Just bouncing off of there. He sends it out. The thing goes out in the crowd. It might have killed somebody. Oh, there it is up the aisle. And Captain, maybe looking for, for some more activity. Kind of stands there. Kind of says, hey, Godfather, why don't you come out here and, and play a little bit? Now he comes back in. Now. That Goldfather sets him up. Oh, dropping him back across the knee. Yeah, his back, to, his back still. Yeah, it's kicking the back again. Goldfather knows how to to, to zero in on a, on a weak spot. Right now, that happens to be the back, as you can see, stomping away, kicking away, and now picking Captain up, slowly getting him in the blowjob position again. Hey, it's not Fritzy. And now suplex. Oh God, got all the ropes on that one. Oh, you talking about brush burn? That'll rip, the, rip your cartilage right out of your knee on, on those things. And now, with an, after an elbow slam, the Godfather goes out. Maybe for a little extra stuff. And no, he's just gonna... He's gonna kind of wait, maybe. Test the waters there. See if they want to go at it outside the ring. And Godfather not... Godfather not sure what he wants to do. I'm not, I don't know. He was, he was gonna go back in. The captain's just showing off. Godfather... Godfather okay, now he finally gets back in the ring. I don't know what is up with these wrestlers anyway. There's, there's way too many drugs in the locker room, I think, for for consistent uh, mental health. Now, an armbar and dr dr drilling the elbow into that collarbone on the God Goldfather. I'll get it. And stomping now. Stomping gold hole. Roll, uh, roll gold. That's, that's, a, that's a sponsorship. I don't know. We like pretzels. <laughs> it gets the Goldfather up again. And Goldfather blocks the suplex and punch to the ribs. Now... Goldfather now. Captain trying another thing. Goes for a neck breaker and doesn't get it. Yeah, slips out. I think he got caught on the ropes there. And oh, finally executes a neck breaker on. Or neck whip by the captain on the Goldfather. And now in the sleeper hold. Trying to work the Goldfather. And Goldfather getting up. Pushing away. Elbows to the gut. And to the gut again. Rips captain away. And now. Oh, Greek on the leash here. On the captain. And down he goes. Oh, he really hit his head that time. Is that going to... I don't know if that's going to do it. He's taking his time. But no, he's going to stomp on Captain. Captain now. Oh, God, still working the back. Driving the knee into the back. Man, that'll, that'll, that'll give you a stinger there. You won't be able to get out of bed without pain after that. And now, bouncing the hand, the elbow off. Sending that shockwave up the wrist. Goldfather got Captain up again. And now, whips him to the turnbuckle. Into his, his own corner with Joe Petito there. Let's all welcome Joe back to the HWA. It's been too long. And now he's setting him up. Oh, this could be the Chrome Dome, folks. Gets the captain across. Boom! Down he goes. Oh. Just dropped like a fucking rag doll. Dragging him out there. And uh, we have to say, oh, he's going for the pin. The pin on the captain. One. Two. Three. Goldfather wins the Intercontinental. He keeps the Intercontinental title. And... As a tribute to Joe Petito, we must say Donkey Dick. Let's see how it all happened here. There was the, the Greek on a leash here. We're cutting right to the end, apparently. <laughs> oh, no, and there's the, uh, the finishing move that did it. Is, oh, my God. From that angle, you really see the, the connection. And there it is again. Let's see it from another angle. And it's still just as brutal. Captain going down. Godfather going in for the pin there. Oh, has to drag him out first. Always, always got to get away from the ropes. The, our refs are very particular about being near the ropes. And... Finally, laying across, hooking the leg, and even though he was out of position, just a hair, comes down one. Joe Petito looking proudly, two, and of course, number three. And the Goldfather will retain his Inner Horseman title, television title, 
not inner horseman, I'm sorry, television title. And there he is, showing off. Says, give me my belt, bitch. And so, good things with uh, Goldfather and his new, new management. So, congratulations to him. He can show off a little bit here while we talk about the next match, which is going to be the seven-woman battle royal going on between all six of our ladies here. Kathleen Dynamite, Satanica Bloodlust, Big Birth, and Morning Glory, Old Charlotte Webb, and, of course, Muffy Trust Fund. And it should be a blast. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get to that. This is the Anal Network reminding you, always wear a condom, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Sunday Night Crew, ladies and gentlemen, from lovely Cleveland, Ohio. You can tell how thrilled I am to be in Cleveland, Ohio. Coming down now, the ever, uh, one of the crowd favorites here, they just love her, Kathleen Dynamite. And uh, she has announced a bit of a, an outfit change. She's not showing that off just yet, but she, she looks forward to showing that in the future. She says it will be to the pleasure of everyone, end quote. And uh, I'm sure it will, baby. I'm sure it will. <laughs> but we did see Kathleen uh, this past week on Crude in the Women's Championship. Uh, she unfortunately wasn't able to take that title because she received the ritual by Satanica Bloodlust. And let's have a look at it. Sets her up. I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be another ritual, folks. There it comes the third time this match. Dropping Kathleen all down again. Oh, my. Will she go for the pin? She just... She has a, there's a little bit of moment. She has to drag her away from the ropes, and she finally does go for the pin. Will she get up? There's one. There's two. Three, and it is done. Satanic of Bloodlust retains the women's championship. Kathleen Dynamite, ladies and gentlemen, one of Ireland's finest. I'm not talking about the police force. I'm talking about gymnastics, but you knew that. <laughs> so there she is now. It's taking, a, taking enough time. Coming down after her. Is going to be. I'm not sure. We have to listen for the music. It'll be coming here sooner or later. And oh, that's who's coming down. Pure evil incarnate right now. The current women's champion, Satanica Bloodlust, creeping on down. And uh, she'll be defending that title just a little bit later this week, I believe, on, uh, on, on Beatdown. Or, of course, it might be in the next crew. I'm not entirely sure. I, like I said, I'm, I'm really going to shit on trying to copy these notes anymore. But we did see Satanica this past week on, uh, or not this past, yeah, this past week, you call it, on Friday, on Friday Fracas in her, well, first blood match, though it was turned into a Jin Sook KO match. Uh, we saw her pull the ritual on big old Big Bertha, and uh, she won that match by just knocking Bertha the fuck out. Mama said knock you out. Bertha's big mama. You know, it all comes around, it's full circle like that. But let's have a look at it. And the ref grabs the chair again, finally slides it back out. And Bertha gets whipped to the ropes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, she got Bertha up. Oh, this will be the second ritual, folks. Can she take two? Or will this put her out? And she's down. And the ref calls it. The ref calls it. Bertha is out. Satanic of bloodlust, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I babbled a little bit on that last one. I, I tend to do that if you've been listening to this for any given amount of time. Coming down right now after her, though. I believe it's going to be her, the person she just did. Yes, it is. Big Bertha coming down now. The one who got knocked out this past Friday. But uh, we did get to see Big Bertha this past week on Crude in the ladder match. She's a, She proved herself to be quite the sneaky one. As uh, there was a fisticuffs going on, somebody knocked Charlotte Webb out. And I believe it was a glory hole. Who went on to just flaunt and show off and allowed Bertha pretty much to slip right in, go up there and grab the case. So let's go ahead and have a look at it. Is she gonna? Well, we can see this. Oh, here they go. <laughs> oh, Webb is out. Webb could be out for the day, for the night. And Bertha going up. <laughs> uh, Gloria celebrating. Doesn't realize Bertha's going up for the for the case. Muffy's crawling around. And Gloria still celebrating. What an airhead. She doesn't even care if she loses the match after a move. Oh, it's over, folks. Big Bertha has gotten the case. Quickly and easily. Big Bertha, folks. Somebody gonna get their ass kicked. That's right. That's the uh, three six mafia, I think. Or it's some number of mafia. There's there's plenty of them to go around. Coming down right now though is Charlotte Webb, who uh, received quite a, a beating on that that one match. But we saw her in full control. 
Oh, on the, the first, no, that's not the first blood, the Jinso KO match. I gotta get used to saying that now, thanks to this fucking, these women outside protesting and all that shit. But we got to see her do the flying fuck on Kathleen Dynamite. And, uh, was that it? Was she on Kathleen? Oh, I gotta look here. Uh, no, this, I got the wrong notes yet again. Oh, no, I just had the wrong line, sorry. I'm paying attention here. No, she actually put Muffy on her ass outside the ring and beat the count out. So let's, let, let's see, have a look at that. Big splash by, by Webb now. And Webb stomping. And looking at Muffy. Oh, gonna stomp on the arm. Oh, right to the, that little elbow. Oh, and the count's going on. Charlotte's coming back in the, in the, in the ring there. What's the count up to? <laughs> the count is up to 10. And it looks like Muffy is counted out. I should probably have a look at these things before <laughs> I announce them. Uh, these notes just ain't cutting it for me. Coming up right now, oh, coming up right now is Morning Glory Hole, California Sweetheart, and current tag team, co-tag team champion. And we we did see Morning Glory Hole, as I was saying before, on the previous line, uh, in her Jinso KO match. She performed, as I was saying, the flying fuck on Kathleen Dynamite for the win. I think it was her third one, too. That, was, uh, that match went on for quite a while. But let's go ahead and have a look at this knockout. So, got her up once again. And grabbing the hair, almost throws her through the ropes on that one. So, my God. Now, she's going up again. Do we see another flying fuck coming here? Possibly. Yes, another one. And finally, the ref rings the bell. And Glory Hole is the winner. Morning Glory Hole, folks. The first half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. And coming down right now behind her, her co-partner. That's right, folks. Little Muffy Trust Fund, the other tag team champion for the women. And we got to see Muffy this past week on Beatdown in the women's tag team title. She was, in fact, the uh, the one who or she, she performed. A, Jesus Christ, my notes are fucking horrible today. Uh, she performed the Kardashian crash on somebody, and it helped her career by doing something. Fuck it, just roll the footage. We can see another Kardashian crash here. She's got her. She's got her locked. Got her up now. And dropping bow. <laughs> Boonja. Right on the mat. If she goes for a pin, she might have it. Oh, she got her. One. Will this do it? Two. Three. We have new winners here. The California Canadians are now the women's tag team champions. Yeah, you saw that, folks. She, she did something there. And... They just don't pay me enough to do this shit. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, we're going to go right to the match here, starting off. And Big Bertha throwing the dynamite by her hair. And, the, oh, uh, yeah, big big chop by Charlotte Webb. This is going to be hard, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be tough for a while. And, oh, yeah, Muffy fighting back. Muffy. Remember, you got to keep in mind there's three sets of teammates here. And right now, Muffy and Charlotte are the other ones locked up in fisticuffs. And... It looks like uh, Satanic is trying to lift Kathleen Dynamite over and not having a good time because she got popped in with an elbow. And uh, this is an over-the-top match. Uh, that's, uh, that's how you get tagged out or picked out. And uh, I saw that big kick by Charlotte Webb on Muffy. Picking her up again. And chops by Satanica on, on Kathleen. And now Bertha with big knees to the, to the gut. Of, oh, took Kathleen over. Didn't, couldn't knock her out, though. Kathleen hung on. Now with... Oh. It was chopped by Morning Glory Hole on Bertha, but Bertha didn't seem to notice. Oh, gave Bertha the uh, the equivalent of a uh, the, the butt plug, <laughs> but that's not her move. And now, up, oh, oh, Kathleen Dynamite going out again, but still holding on. And now she's a uh, Satanic is trying to trying to shove her off, and gets popped in the knee. Now Charlotte Webb trying to get Morning Glory Hole out, and sends her over, but Morning Glory Hole holds on. And now once again trying to get shoved away, as you saw. Fritzy got shoved away like that, so that is an effective maneuver. Once they go over that top rope, until they get back on their feet, they uh, they have a chance of still getting pushed out. Now, Morning Glory Hole going after after Muffy, while Kathleen chopping away at Satanica. Now Satanica getting boots, and it's a big another big kick that, that people don't seem to notice by, by Morning Glory Hole. Her her moves just aren't terribly effective in this match for some reason. Oh, big drop kick by Satanica on. Kathleen Dynamite, and she's rolled away. And, oh, we got a 
A scissor throw here by Satanica. And Charlotte Webb stomping away. <clears throat> that big Bertha. Wow, Satanica with a big the legs, the spinning leg drop. And a stomp. And we see uh, the uh, Morning Glory Hall and Kathleen down, taking a rest. And Big Bertha, oh, Big Bertha's trying to get Charlotte out. Big Bertha, if anybody's got the strength advantage, I would say that uh, fairly easily. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's Satanica on her way to giving a scissor throw to Muffy. <laughs> Just destroys Kathleen Dynamite. Thro goes right into her head, through her head. And now, wow, I, I wish I could see a replay on that. <laughs> And now, you got Morning Glory Hole trying to send Muffy out. And Big Bertha. Big Bertha's going after her teammate, a Dynamite, and they're going to go at it for a bit while, while uh, Webb sits in the corners and has a rest. And Muffy will uh, break free of Glory Hole's grasp. And I, I don't know what, what Webb is doing back there. She's trying to uh, she's trying to protect her, her teammate or something. No, she's stomping on her now. And Webb with a swing, but misses. Oh, big spinning kick by Big Bertha on her teammate. And now, punches being exchanged between Satanica and Webb. And Satanica throws Webb to the corner. Webb, the uh, the winner of the Women's Tag Team Championship. Oh! Glory Hole goes over, but still holds on. Uh, did take that from, did take the championship from Satanica, uh, but there is no hard feelings there. They're just, they're, they're professionals. They really are. And professionals getting locked up and kicking. And now Glory Hole's gonna come in and join the fun on Satanica. While Big Bertha punching away at at Muffy and Glory Hole go in finally pick that pick dynamite say enough of your nap <laughs> Muffy tried to go for a drop kick <laughs> it didn't do it but Bertha showed her how to do it it tore, tore her right up now it kicks his punches and kicks being thrown there's six people in the ring it's hard to do this <laughs> and oh whipped to the turnbuckle and morning Glory Hole now get Kathleen is she going to try to get her over yes trying to pick that leg up trying to throw it over and oh she gets her up on the turnbuckle will she be able to shove her off Bertha just punched Morning guard punched Buffy, and uh, Webb is Webb is going to try to get her partner out. I don't know if this is like I say they're professionals. There, there's no love lost though, and sends sends her over and kind of uh, I don't know, kind of lets her lets her down easily. But she's holding on while she's trying to send her out, and nope, she'll punch the knee and get right back in. And now, oh, it looks like the M180 coming to Kathleen on Glory Hole spins her around, and boom, down she goes. And there's a lot of people laying around right now. Webb and Satanica are the only ones going at it. But now we got Dynamite picking up Glory Hole. Slaps her across the face roughly. She likes it rough, doesn't she? Uh, and now, oh, Bulldog by Kathleen on Glory Hole. Kathy and uh, Satanica just showing off a little. And now Satanica and Dynamite are going to lock it up. And takes her to the rope. Kathleen Dynamite going to try to get, try to get uh, Satanica over. Wow, Big Bertha sends Muffy over. Well, Muffy, it's Big Bertha with Muffy should easily be able to get her out, and she does gets her over the rope. But neither of them good, get out; they're hanging on. And but Bertha trying to shove. Eh, Bertha's still working her. Will she get? Will she get it? No. Oh, uh, she doesn't get it. But meanwhile, Webb grabs a grabs a leg a leg a thigh full of glory hole and sends her flying across the ring. And now. Bertha, Bertha, and it's Bertha. <laughs> Kathleen's trying to break up Bertha and and Muffy. Now, since Muffy to the rope, Muffy drop kicks air while Bertha grabs onto the ropes. And now, Satanica getting whipped to the turnbuckle. A lot of action here, folks. Now, punches to Glory Hole by Dynamite. And, oh, you see Big Bertha trying to get Satanica out. Satanica, Big Bertha pushing. She's got a good angle on her. Will she get her? Oh, it flips her over. I don't know, folks. She's going down. Oh, Satanica is out. Big Bertha takes the little one out. Oh, at the same time, Muffy takes out Charlotte. Wow, that little girl just put her put her to shame. And it seems that Evil Incorporated is completely out of this. Well, they can go back and, and drink some uh, fire water and uh, just have a good time. But uh, there was no, no belts on the line. It's just for good fun. And now, uh-oh, I see the Kardashian crash coming up on Dynamite. Will she get her? Glory Hole backs away, says, do, do your thing, little girl, little sister. And she does. Drops Dynamite right on her head. Uh, but it didn't take long because Glory Hole just kicked her right in the ass. That big booty. Uh, that million dollar booty that she invested in. And now Big Bertha will get Glory Hole. And kind of has her by the hair. Doesn't know what, it, what she wants to do with it just yet. Looking for all angles. And sets her up against the rope. Bertha now. Oh, Bertha's going to pick her up. Try to send her over. We've seen Bertha with the, with the, the strong arms. The pythons of hers, I guess you can call. And she shoves her over, but Glory Hole hangs on. Uh -uh. Uh, she's not done working on her yet though she's going to try to shove her off 
she's going to pull Fritzy on her. <laughs> That's what we're calling that whenever you, your hands are all covered with KY and you slip off the ropes. Or, I'm sorry, sweat, he said. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I believe that. Sure. And Bertha with punches. And uh, Muffy with punches on Kathleen. And kicks. All sorts of feet and hands being exchanged now. <laughs> More punches and fists. It's like, a, it's like a kickboxing match here. And Bertha drops the glory hole right on the knee. While well, Muffy's still working on, on Dynamite. Now has her up. Bertha says, you know, you're on your own, Dynamite. I'm going to go up to the second rope, and is she going to taunt? She does taunt while Dynamite gets over, and now she's going to be pushing on Dynamite, trying to get her out. So far, has it? Oh! Dynamite is out! Dynamite pulls the KY Jelly off the ropes and slips on down. <laughs> and now Bertha. Uh-oh. It's the Bertha Blitz coming up. Yes, it is on poor little Muffy Trust Fund just gets crushed under the weight. If she doesn't let herself get thrown over the top rope now, I think she's really stupid. She needs to just, after that, you got to give the poor little thing a break. And here comes Bertha. And she's going to try to shove Muffy off. Muffy holding on. Just, I think it's half-hearted because after that move, she just wants out. And no, she still hangs on. But Bertha shoves. I got that big foot right in there. But Oh, and she shoves her off. Yeah, you're not going to fight that. After, after that sort of treatment, you're just not going to be able to fight it. So that leaves two. Big Bertha and Morning Glory Hole. Now, oh, Bertha just not even waiting for Glory Hole to get up, just punching away, throwing chops at her. Oh, and another shot to the back. Let her get on her feet anyway. And she adjusts her rubber shorts. That's the only thing holding that big fat ass from hitting the first three rows. And now sets her up against the ropes. Well, is she, she going to go for a clothesline? No. She goes for a slap. Backs up. Oh, this could be it, folks. Oh, and they, oh, she's down. She holds on now. Unbelievable. Glory Hole not giving up. She wants this match. For what reason, I don't know. Probably just bragging rights, but uh, she's, she's a, a tough one right now. And Bertha. Bertha showing she's going to be pulling something else here. Gets her. Oh, is this the Bertha, is this the Bertha Blitz here coming up? And she's got her up. There she goes down like an airplane and on fire, crashing and burning. And now she'll pick, pick uh, Glory Hole up again. Glory Hole's woozy. She, <laughs> you can tell after that. Every, who's, who's not woozy after a Bertha Blitz? Against the ropes. Gets a slap. Bertha, another slap by Bertha. And gets picked up by Glory Hole. Trying to hold on. I don't think she has. She's shaking. Off. She's trying to, for dear life, it just gets shoved right off. And there she is. Bertha is the winner of the very first Women's Battle Royal. Let's have a look at it again. Let's see. Oh, we had the, one, the M180 there by Dynamite. But it's still everybody in the ring. That was a hell of a move there. Still devastating. But here, this, this is even more devastating. This little girl just able to pick these women up in, this, in the Kardashian crash, bring them down. But here, the Bertha Blitz. Oh, all that weight on that little girl who's 104 soaking wet. And Bertha Blitz again on... <laughs> that, that, that's, what, that's the story of the Bertha Blitz here tonight, folks. That's, that's, that's how it was all done. And then, after a few slaps, Bertha just kind of picks her up and, and shoves her flying into the air. It didn't take a whole lot of effort for her. She could do that to King Kong Bundy, I'm sure, if, if she needed to. And we see holding on a little bit, but soon just sailed off, and that was it. That was the match, folks. That was a great one for the, the women, the first ever battle, six-woman battle royal. We'll look forward to that match again a little later on in the year, perhaps. So as Bertha celebrates, we're going to be going to our last match. <clears throat> it's one Fritzy has been waiting for because he had to go through all kinds of hoops to make sure he, he held on to what was rightfully his after all the, the whining and bitching and moaning from all sorts of directions. It's going to be Fritzy versus Nature for the Horseman World Championship. Be sure to come back. Let's see how this whole saga ends. And uh, this is the Animal Network reminding you, all's wear a condom. Be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunday Night Crude in Salt Lake City, Utah. They don't allow music, but somehow they allow wrestling. I don't get it. Uh, maybe the entrance themes will be the, the cups are there. If we, play the, if we play the entrance themes and get completely shut down, don't be surprised, folks. That's just the state. And coming down now with Aaron Varhola in his, his corner is Fritzy, the, <laughs> the long-awaited, the challenger to this HWA World Championship match. And we saw Fritzy, uh, well, we saw him earlier tonight in the submission match when he pulls the uh, 
I'm not even sure what he pulled. I, I don't recall. I think it was the the, uh, the camel clutch. Yes, I think it was. Let's go ahead and say uh, it was the camel clutch. I haven't reviewed the tape because it just happened tonight. This is the first for me. And uh, let's see what happened. He's not going to let Sabu get that, that rematch. And now, oh, yeah, he goes for the camel clutch. This could be it. This could be it. He's, he's flying around. And he gives up. Sabu has given up. Oh, the dream is over, folks. Sabu taps out from Fritzy. So Fritzy may not be a fan favorite, but definitely a contender for this match, no doubt. And uh, we, of course, right now, going to be coming down here, is Nature. He is the, uh, the defending world champion. Uh, yeah, Cinderella story, to, to say the very least. He's, uh, he was never that big in the HWA and until he got his title shot, and then he's, just, uh, he's holding on to that thing for dear life. So let's see what happened. Uh, it was two weeks earlier, how he got this belt, and uh, he was in the World Championship against Sabu, <laughs> of all people. And he pulled the rickshaw on him. So, of course, it would, otherwise it wouldn't be a rematch. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and see that. Oh, yes, he is going to set him up on the, on the turnbuckle again. Sabu can't 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 take another rickshaw. It's, it's I don't know. That, it might be it for him, but he does. He sets him up. Here he goes. Oh, going for a fly, bouncing across the ring, and nature, nature goes for a pin quickly. One, two, three. Nature wins. Stiz defeated the big Sabu. So nature defeating Sabu for that belt, and uh, would Sabu have won it? Had he gotten a rematch? The world may never know. At least until Sabu comes around and, and fights Nature for this belt or maybe even another one. They, they, and remember the tag teams. The tag teams are always in it. And we are going to see uh, Los, Feo, Los Feos Bandidos, I think. It's the ugly bandits, basically. And uh, they're going to be coming up through the ranks here rather shortly. So Sabu will get another chance at some gold right now. There's Fritzy getting ready and warm. There's Nature all set to battle. And here we go here on Sunday Night Crude. Stepping in. And they'll lock up, and Fritzy will get him in a compromising position. <laughs> most of most. <laughs> For Fritzy, that's a very compromising position. And finally, lifts him, and Nature will kick. Oh, Nature gets him in a leg lock, I see. And, oh, working, working, Fritzy. Says, you want between my legs? Here, I'll give it to you for a nice long time. Now, Fritzy picking up. Uh, Pedro X, not Pedro X. <laughs> Nature. Couldn't be the furthest thing from. <laughs> a young Chinese guy versus an old black guy. That's, yeah, there's a difference, I think. And... <laughs> Fritzy picks up Nature and Nature oh Nature is going to roll Fritzy across the shoulders definitely a severe size advantage or size disadvantage I'd say for Nature size advantage for Fritzy he's just a big old dude and gets stomped to the face not exactly a David and Goliath thing here but uh, not, not the easiest battle for Nature and Nature gets caught up in the ropes Nature dragging Fritzy out is he going to go for a pin? I don't, wouldn't think he'd go for a pin. No, he's going for a neck breaker. Oh, grabs hold of that red hair and gives that neck a good whip. Nature is still looking for management. They are, they are unmanaged, both the tag team and uh, solo, Boston and Nature. So we'll see what happens there. Joe Petito has shown himself to be a uh, pretty good replacement manager for, for gold member. Gold member. <laughs> gold, gold, no, not Goldfinger. What the fuck's his name? Gold, uh, Goldfather. That's. Oh my god, I gotta retire. <laughs> this is getting too much for me. Uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Fuck it, let's get back to the match. Now, Nature with a suplex. Oh, but blocked by Fritzy. Fritzy chopping away. Big paws going right into those ribs. And so, Nature will pick him up across the, across the back. And, oh, going with a face slam suplex. Nature now working, gonna go over to the turnbuckle. Goes up, second rope, and taunts. Wants Fritzy on his feet for this one, apparently. Fritzy getting up, and here comes the double axe hand. Oh, I thought he slipped out of the way, but no, he nailed him with it. And now he's telling Fritzy to get up. He, he wants Fritzy on his feet. He wants this to be a, he wants no disadvantages here. It's a, it's a matter of honor, uh, the, the Asian culture, as you know. Oh! <laughs> and he uh, honorably sends him over the top rope there. <laughs> and Aaron Varhol is like, get up, you, well, we can't say. <laughs> get up, you so-and-so. <laughs> Belly-to-belly suplex by nature on the outside of the ring and kicks to the back. Nature now setting Fritzy up for something. <clears throat> and, oh, yes, the Fritzy sends him into the stairs, wrapping those knees right off the stairs. And dropping the knee to the back as they slide towards the barricade. And Nature getting up, slowly. Fritzy helps him up a little bit. And Fritzy, with a pop, uh, popping him now, what's he going to do? He's going to take him off the, 
Takes him, sets him over the barricade into the crowd. <laughs> and Fritzy's going after him. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time we've had a fight spill into the audience. Oh, wow. And Nature p pops him. And, oh, another another big fist to the jaw. And Fritzy's kind of staggering around. Doesn't know where he is. And, oh, gets set. Oh, finally goes <laughs> over the barricade. That's enough of that, apparently, for Nature. Nature, not a, uh, not, a, not an into the crowd fighter sort of guy. And as they face off a little bit. Oh, wow. Just catches that knee on the stairs for Fritzy. Now, Nature picking Fritzy back up. And Fritzy, a little woozy, good. just trying to check his watch or something. He's not wearing one. <laughs> and sends, gets sent back into the ring. And now Nature on top of him again. Nature now. Nature with a whip to the turnbuckle. And sets him up for, uh-oh. If this is the rickshaw, this could be devastating. We saw this work for against Sabu. It might work against Fritzy. He's got him up, folks. He's going for a ride, rickshaw. Oh, he's down. Oh, my. And the crowd goes wild. They're, they're, they're really coming. They're really embracing nature as their champion there. As he goes up there and says, you know, they, they hate Fritzy. Everybody hates Fritzy. Who doesn't? But, uh, yeah, nature is, is, is the, the people's hero right now. And, oh, stop. My God, stop right to the, the heel, pushing his toes back. Like, like at a 45-degree angle, backward. And now there's... After he picks him up again, a little stare off there for a second, and a belly to belly suplex coming up. Oh, that's a lot of weight to pick up too, but uh, all muscle really is his nature, just like just like his namesake, the Nature Boy. Uh oh, he's going for the uh, the, the the flare up here. Fritzy's in great pain, but he finally he has to break out. Aaron Varhola almost can't watch. It's, that was very painful. Goes for a pin though. Did he wear him out enough? One, two. Three! <laughs> Nature wins after wearing Fritzy down. Oh my, let's have a look at it again. Oh, what happened? That's Nature just, just hanging on to that belt. It's awesome. Right there, you saw the rickshaw. A devastating move. And then we saw there the flare up. Fritzy was just screaming in agony. It, not like, you know, that girl scream he normally does. So you can, you can picture it. <laughs> let's have a look at it again from the exact same angle. Fritzy doesn't want to see this. But after that, he was, Fritzy was just totally drained. And nature says, you know what, I, I, this feels like a good time for me. I'm going for the pin. Ref slides right around. And pin one, two. It's slower because it's in slow motion. And three. And nature is your defending world champion. Holds on to his belt. And the whole drama between Fritzy and Sabu is, well, really kind of anticlimactic. Uh, in the end, nature was just too much for both of them. So who will, who will nature's next opponent be? Uh, I have a suspicion it's Pedro X, but don't quote me on that. I need to double check my notes. But uh, Pedro X is coming up very soon. So Chaz will have another chance to win that belt, albeit with a different wrestler. And this is, has been, uh, Sunday Night Crude. And before we cut away, let's take a moment to feature or talk about our upcoming matches on Beatdown this week. We are going to have... I salivate a little. I'm drooling all over myself again. What the fuck? All right, it's going to be the handicap tag team match between the Gimp against the Goldfather and an unnamed participant yet. We, we don't know who his partner's going to be. The Gimp actually volunteered for this match because he likes to get beaten. You know that. But uh, it doesn't really matter who, who God, Goldfather brings with him. Should be interesting. And then we have, a, a, for the second event, this is going to be quite an interesting match. It is the Hell in a Cell match. Two falls out of three. It's going to be Sabu versus Fritzy. Per Sabu's challenge, if Fritzy can beat him two pins out of three in Hell in a Cell, Fritzy will get his shot at Coach Chaz Segner. Everybody's going to have eyes on that match. After that, we got, of course, got the women's championship match. Satanica Bloodlust defending uh, against Charlotte Webb, her partner, another partnership there. Uh, but like I say, they're professionals. So we have that. Uh, after that, we got the triple threat match between Concrete and Pedro X and El Loco. Nice little uh, festival there. It's not a, not a table match, though that was pretty fun tonight. Uh, and after that, we have the tag team champion match, the Asian Persuasion defending their belts. You see one right there uh, against Southern Justice. Actually, that's not a tag team belt. That's the world championship, kind of. Uh, if you pay attention, yeah, you know. But anyway, this is Keys, and thanking you for joining us here on the Anal Network, which reminds you all to wear a condom. This has been Sunday Night Crude, and join us once again this Wednesday for a beatdown. Until then, we thank you once again for joining us, and good night.